Hey there, it's Crazy Cheap Chick, and tonight we're making chicken picadillo. It's a recipe I found on Skinny Taste. Let's get cooking. Tonight I'm gonna make some Cuban picadillo. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. And I got it off the website Skinny Taste. I love that website. Um, picadillo, I think, means like hash or minced meat. And that's what you start with. You start with some hamburger and you crumble it up just like you would for spaghetti sauce or um, goulash, something like that. So we're gonna cook the hamburger first. And it says to add some salt and pepper, so I guess we'll do that. It's probably just a little bit too much salt. And some pepper. I already prepared most of the ingredients this morning and this hamburger is almost fully cooked. So we're going to go ahead and add some other vegetables. Um, two cloves of garlic, one tomato, um, half a pepper finely chopped, and two tablespoons of cilantro. So we're going to go ahead and add those in. And about a quarter cup water. And mix that up. And about a teaspoon of cumin. You had me at cumin, because I love cumin. Any recipe that has cumin, I'm in. I'm adding a little bit more. I love it so much. And two bay leaves. Now, that's not something I use a ton of, but it smells so good. Let's go ahead and sprinkle that in. And go ahead and add olives. The recipe says to add the brine from the olives. It says two to four tablespoons to give it some flavor. Okay, I hope this tastes as good as it smells. Of course, this is going to be poured over rice. Isn't that funny how every culture has its easy go-to meals? When I was growing up, my mom made a lot of goulash, and I loved it, man. I love goulash to this day, but I don't make it very much. Give it a taste. That looks good. Oh man, that's fabulous. Cuban culture for the win. So I did I need to get a thing of rice first? No, just I just want you to okay. taste the meat part of it. Tell me what you think. Delicious. I really like the olives. I know, it adds something, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Now, what I want to know is you think the Cuban culture will be mad at me if I put a little cheese on top because I think I really want a little cheese on top. I seem like a pretty laid back bunch of people. Oh my goodness, this is going to become one of my new favorite meals. I've eaten at Cuban restaurants in New York City and I've always, always loved the food. Now, I am gonna put a little bit of cheese on this. And just don't tell anybody, I'm gonna, I like cheese. I really, really like cheese. <laughs> Thanks for watching all the way to the end. That recipe was delicious. Let me tell you, you know if you watch my videos, I am trying like crazy to lose weight. And um, it's really not about what I eat, it's how much I eat. <laughs> I love to eat. I, I'm just going to admit it. I love food. Kill me. I love food. Um, it was really hard not to take a second serving of this um, because it was that good. It really was. It's fast. It's easy. My husband enjoyed it. Uh, so try it. I think you'll like it. I'm going to put a link to the recipe in the description of this video. If you enjoyed the video, if you got anything at all out of it, give me a like, comment, share, or subscribe. I would really appreciate it.